everybody I am back with a quick gift card solution um, you know a lot of times you have these things that you want to give as last-minute gifts and they come on those plastic sheets they don't really have anything that special so I wanted to show you guys how to make something special for these a little insert and how to fold it and then um, put a special greeting uh, on a card and and insert this so that you've got a little nicer the present. I did was I took a smaller panel card that measures about four and a quarter by five and a quarter and this is actually really meant to actually overlay a um, a five and a half by four and a half and and you, you know generally they go on the cover and we're going to actually have one, um, one on the cover but we're going to make um, take this and make this into a card holder so literally I scored it in half uh, really simply you can use a bone folder or you can literally use a ruler or you can use your hands <laughs> it's pretty simple folding it in half and then take the gift card they're pretty much standard size but they fit in on these cards really beautifully with just a little bit of a quarter of an inch um, area all the way around so you can make a couple of dots like I did here and here and marks and then literally I just used a ruler and my craft knife to cut a opening and they they I know that they have dies for this now but this is easy enough that you can mass produce these uh, yourself if you use the the made cards so if you have to pull out a little bit further you can always open that up a little bit more and then literally we are going to just glue this inside and the back together and we now have a really nice little pocket for our gift card and that pocket's going to go on the inside of the card. Now that we've made uh, the little pockets, we're going to do something really quick and easy to the front. And we are going to use a Fisker stamp. This one is actually a really nice um, piece of Subway uh, type. It's, it says, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we're going to do this in white, stamp this in white, and then emboss this in white as well. And Hero Hughes uh, Unicorn Pigment Ink. And I'm just going to ink this up, and you'll be able to see. It's really cute. It's a very detailed stamp, and the type is really nice. And let's get that all nice and coated. The type is very fine on this, and so I'm actually going to um, I'm gonna use my powder. To remove the static on this card so that when we add the embossing powder it's really clean you could also just use a uh, verse mark to do it I kind of like to have the white under the white um, I don't know why but whatever you whichever way you like to do embossing so there is our ink up sheet and I'm going to take some white embossing powder and um, this is actually from Paper Source. It's their brand. It's a little more granular. There we go. And let's go off and emboss that. With it. That really embossed beautifully. It's got a lot of detail. And anywhere where you have a little issue, if there's something you want to fill in, like down here I think there wasn't enough adhesion, I can use a white gel marker as well. And I'll show you how to do that. ready to assemble now. And you can see that I have um, a bunch of really nice cardstock. Um, these are A2 cards, so they are four and a half by five and a half. Or four and a quarter by five and a half and here is the layover card you can see that that just fits really perfectly in there and we will very quickly easily Put 
on. And then it is very, very simple card. You could certainly um, add some more embellishment. I really like just the embossing. I think the type on this is really beautiful. I need to think about what we might add. If we're going to add anything else. So now that we have a nice cover on the card, um, we're going to look at what we might want to do to the inside um, for a nice presentation of the card. And I do, I have a really nice sentiment here that is Holiday Wishes. It's also from that same Fiskars Holiday stamp set. I don't really know what the name of it is, but it has that large piece of type and it has the three ornaments. But any one that you have that you really like is great. And I'm going to take the gift card out um, and stamp the sentiment here with that white ink. And it's nice. It's holiday wishes. I like that. You could emboss this as well if you wanted to, but I'm making a lot of them. Um, so I'm just going to have the front be embossed. Uh, and then, you know, looking at the inside, it does feel a little bit empty. And so I was trying to think of what might be kind of a nice accent. And I thought that maybe before I glued it down, I would take one of the ornaments from that Fiskars scent, or you know, you got you could put a a reindeer or anything that you want. This one I think it's a good idea to do before I paste the um, and then I can put a couple, and then when I adhere. I'm gonna I can actually go down over that one and have it be hanging. You can position that just so it's nice. That's the inside of the card. Very pretty. The card goes in there. There you go. And you can have a nice green a green envelope or a white envelope. You can see how you could do this in an assembly line, right? You literally once you do one and you have the position um, of really kind of where you want things to go, it's pretty easy. So we did two and See this? I'm breaking my rule and doing it with the card in there. It's okay, it didn't come out as clean. But again, I'm rushing a little bit. Get this out of the way. And then literally put some adhesive on these. really liking this scotch dot adhesive. I haven't had as good luck with the Fiskars. I mean the... So there we go. We have four really nice cards that hold our gift cards for the holiday wishes. So now that we've got these kind of all done, I can go back and take a look at... Um, how the uh if any place on the white area didn't fill in that you're not happy with or on the type in here i can kind of highlight a little bit of the type i have a uniball um signo white gel pen which is my favorite and literally i can just kind of go back in here and add a little bit to the white these when you start going in but do that you can see that I can really pop this type in 
here. Kind of like coloring actually a little bit too. It's um very peaceful. Zen. <laughs> Obviously you can't do this if you're doing mass production gift card. Um, but if you've got four and you've got a little extra time watching your favorite TV show. There we go, and I think that the cover on this one looks really pretty good. Definitely looks like a stamp and emboss, but I am happy with that. We'll do a little bit of touch up on this one, just to kind of pop those letter forms out. The stamp was a little bit soft. I probably pressed too hard. But I tend to also like it to look, um, you know, it's not a printed thing, it is a stamped thing, it is handmade, so it doesn't have to be too perfect. I always like a really nice, beautiful impression, but with the white ink, um, it's a little bit soft, so hot, touching it up a little bit like this is nice. There's that. our final card with the gift card holder inside. You can see that it is got a nice air place for you to write. It makes it a little nicer than just giving somebody an envelope. And they've got something nice to remind them to use their card. Happy Holidays!